What's up guys and welcome back to the channel and as you can probably see from the title of this video I'm here to show you guys a new product that Emacs has released and that is our Nanohawk X and you guys may be familiar with our Nanohawk series of drones as we previously released the smaller 65 millimeter micro drone the original Nanohawk that was intended to be more of an indoor flyer and this bigger brother right here the Nanohawk X is intended to be more of an outdoor flyer so let's go ahead and jump right into it open up the box Let's see what you get and I'll tell you a little bit about the drone. First, opening the box, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna first see, obviously, Emacs. We give stickers, so you guys have your uh, OG stickers right here. And then you will also have your support business card. And this is how you're gonna get in contact with me if you have any technical questions or any warranty concerns, you can go to support at Emacs. And then if you look on the back, we got a couple of QR codes. We have one for US and Canada and one for international. This is just gonna take you directly to our support or our knowledge base page. That way you can get the manuals or some of the tech questions we got up there. You can just scan it with your phone and go right to it. So you got that as well. Now, first let's go ahead and start with all the accessories you get in the kit before we move on to the Nanohawk and talk about that. So the first thing I'm gonna pull out is the propeller and you'll see it's a three inch propeller and that's our new three inch Avia Nanohawk X propeller. And this was designed specifically for the Nanohawk X in mind to make it as efficient as possible and to give you the most flight time as we can get out of this little drone. Next, moving on, you get the traditional one cell. This actually has the JST 2.0 connectors on it. And you're gonna be wondering like, oh no, is the drone using the JST 2.0 connector? No, it is not. We just included this USB charger so you guys can charge stuff, but we also included in the kit as well these JST 2.0 to XT30 adapters. That way you can charge the batteries for the Nano Hawk X with this charger. So yeah, you just plug these right in and then you'll be able to plug this into a USB port and then you'll be able to charge the battery that comes with it. And speaking of the battery, that's what I, I wanna talk about next. We include one 1S 450 milliamp hour battery and we decided to go with the XT30. And that's because this little guy pulls so much power that we wanted to be able to pull enough amps out of this battery, enough juice. So we went ahead and put that connector on this quad. So hopefully you guys like it. I know there was a lot of people out in the community that wanted a XT30, so we went ahead and put it on our little Nano Hawk X here. Now all of you guys out there that already have the JST 2.0 connector batteries, the 450 milliamp hours that run on our Tiny Hawk models, you're gonna be wondering like, hey, can I use those batteries? And you sure can. And if you look in your kit, we actually include the opposite pigtail. So you could plug the XT30 into the drone and then you have the JST 2.0 connector on the other side so you can use those batteries. If you're somebody that's stocked up on them and has like 10, 15 of those batteries laying around, you'll be able to use them on this drone as well. Now the last thing to talk about before we get into the Nanohawk X is it also comes with a hardware kit and that's gonna be the hardware to hold the propellers on, a little screwdriver, and then probably an extra couple of screws and yeah, an extra grommet, rubber grommets and stuff like that. The typical hardware kits that come with the Emacs products. And here it is, the Nanohawk X. This is what you guys came here for. This is what you're excited about and I'm excited to show you guys. Now, if you look at this, I wanna go over a couple of things that we improved and a couple of specs that makes this thing unique is the first thing, it's 41 grams dry. That's pretty impressive for a small craft. It makes this thing very zippy and you can whip it around and change directions very quickly. So the second thing is that it runs on a three inch propeller and that's swung by our 12025 11,000 kV motors. And that setup right there is beastly. It, it's quick, it's efficient, you're gonna get awesome flight times and you're gonna enjoy this thing right out of the box. Now next you can see the canopy is kind of designed like the original Nanohawk there uh, with a couple of modifications. 
we actually strength up the material because on the last uh, Nano Hawk, there was some slight vibration issues. So we went ahead and beefed the Nano Hawk X up to a beefier plastic. And then we also improved how the camera sits in there. So you get no more jello whatsoever. Along with, we put actually a little dampening piece of uh, foam underneath the camera. So any vibrations that do get to the camera, it's gonna hit this piece of foam before it even touches the camera and uh, you won't have to worry about any kind of vibrations getting into your video image on this little guy. Now it is running the NanoHawk all-in-one board and it has connectors for the motors. So if you guys do whip this around and maybe ding a tree or pole or something and you gotta replace a motor, no worries. We have connectors on the end of the motors. So it's a real easy process to replace a motor on this guy. Now the all-in-one board, it does have all the ESCs included. Those are five amp ESCs. And like I said before, it runs on the 1S 450 milliamp battery with the XT30 connector and with this setup here that allows you to get probably around seven to eight minutes of cruising time and then if you're really pushing it hard like I was whipping around the other day you're gonna get probably around three and a half to four minutes of hard racing which is actually pretty impressive if any of you guys out there race you know two minutes is usually like your goal you want to at least get two minutes so like three to four minutes that kind of feels like an eternity when you're flying a, a drone if you're coming from a real quick uh, racing background of two minute flying. So super impressed with the flight times there. Now we did go ahead and uh, personally tune this. Uh, me and the guys were working on a tune for the Nano Hawk X to get it flying really good. But we did leave the, the rates alone, stock beta flight rates. That way you guys can go in there, change them to whatever you like. But me personally, I, I don't mind the stock beta flight rates. It's kind of a good middle ground for starting out. But if you do want to lower them or increase them, make sure to check out my video on this channel uh, about how to increase your rates. Now the next thing I do want to talk about is the VTX. It is switchable from 25 to 200 milliwatts. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Nano Hawk X. If you guys are interested in picking up one for yourself, make sure to check out the links below. There should be a link to the store. And if you guys have any other questions or you want to see more videos about this guy, maybe trying to get it bound to a certain controller or how to get it set up or change some settings, make sure to give those suggestions in the comments below. But until the next one, guys, I'll see you later.